T-Bird Connect is Thunderbird's social media platform that aims to keep you connected with the T-Bird community. There's tons of amazing features on there, and I'm going to walk through some of them with you today. You will receive an email from Thunderbird that says, welcome to T-Bird Connect. Just click on that email when you receive it, and then you're going to have a welcome message in the email, followed by a big yellow log into T-Bird Connect button. I'm just going to click on that yellow button. Next, T-Bird Connect is going to ask you to create a password. So you have a couple options here. You can log in with your LinkedIn, Facebook, or Google account, or you can just sign in with your email and connect it to my T-Bird Connect account. Next, it's gonna bring us to the registration page. As you can see, it auto-populated the email, my first and last name. The only other thing that you need to really put in right now on this page is your location. I am going to put in Chandler AZ USA. Next, you wanna go down and push the I have read and agreed to the terms of use button right there at the bottom and then click log in. Okay, so you have successfully logged into T-Bird Connect. It's great. You can see my name here, my profile image, my location, my email, my shared location. And as you can see, there are some categories down here that you can fill in, like the about. You can edit that if you want to add information about yourself. If you want to make this process a little bit easier, you can click this update from LinkedIn button, and then you'll be able to actually import the information that LinkedIn already has saved, because I'm guessing a lot of you already have LinkedIn accounts. That'll make this whole process a little bit easier, but make sure sure to double check over the information that's imported just to make sure that everything is on par and the way that it should be. All right, so now that our profile is all set up, all of our information is imported here and we, we wanna connect with other T-Birds around the world. So what we can do is move from left to right across this bar at the top of the page. Let's start with find a T-Bird. So if we find a T-Bird, we can search for all the users that are on T-Bird Connect from around the world. We can search by location or we can just zoom out on the map and see where all the T-Birds are by looking at these yellow dots. We can also search for specific names like parents, there's two Terrences, this one is me. Next, we have our live feed. This is similar to the Facebook timeline. You can post your thoughts or plans. You can check in, take a trip, post an event. And if you just scroll down, you can see all kinds of things that Thunderbird itself has posted and that users have posted onto T-Bird Connect. So you can like and comment on them just like you would on Facebook. Next, we have the news tab. This is where a bunch of articles that were written about Thunderbird or by Thunderbirds, this is where you can find them. So the news section could be pretty interesting. Next, we have events. If you click on the events tab, you can find all kinds of events that are upcoming in your area. Next, we have groups. You guys are probably gonna wanna use a lot of groups here. So just search for the name of a group, for example, Net Impact. And if you wanna join that group, click the yellow join group button, and then you'll have access to everything that that group does and posts. If you're an alumni, you can join your chapter. Next, we have jobs and careers. We have a bunch of jobs and careers on here that you can click on and apply to them directly. Next, we have marketplace. This is a great place to form collaborations. So as you can see down here, we have these companies that are looking for collaborators. They want some help on a project. If you're a student or an alumni and you wanna help with a project, come here and you can either publish your projects up here at the top or click on these boxes and join a project. Next, we have our virtual pub. This is kind of like a forum. People post discussion topics and then other people can comment on them. Come in here and start a new discussion with this yellow button. Next, we have our media center. This is where you can find some videos or different multimedia things that Thunderbird is working on. Next is my personal favorite tab. It's a mentoring tab. If you're a student and you want a mentor, you can come on here and search through all the mentors to try to find one that fits you. If you are out there in the world, a Thunderbird alumni, faculty, or staff, and you want to become a mentor to a student, you can come on here and say that you're interested in becoming a mentor and you'll be linked with someone who is interested in being mentored. It's great. Next is the magazine tab and you can flip through a virtual version of it right here. Pretty cool. Next, we have the grand opening tab right here at the very end. You can see the itinerary for all of the grand opening 75th anniversary global reunion events that are coming up here in a couple of months. Hope to see you then. If you click the Thunderbird logo right at the top, you're going to get brought right back to the live feed screen. So thank you so much for joining me on this very quick tutorial. If you have any questions about T-Bird Connect, please visit www.thunderbird.asu.edu backslash request. And on that request page, there's a button specifically for T-Bird Connect. Looking forward to hearing from you in the future and enjoy T-Bird Connect. I hope you make a lot of great connections with T-Birds around the world.